And now he's getting in position to catch these spawners. He finds one, looking for the second, finds that player as well. The triple is under the base, making a potential overkill, and he finds it. Sushi in prime position, giving his team a lead. I love the plays. Tony, you have a hell of a partner for tomorrow. The two cap team now has a two cap. Blue. They need to stop this. Nest, there's a player there. Players are falling down. The teammate comes out. Nest is stopped in time. They are able to get the reset. 96, 97. Make that even. Uh, I would like maybe see blue team put a little more emphasis on that camo. Uh, you know, the Rockets, they're basically a guaranteed two kills. But the potential that you have when you get those cam with that camo in your hands is, I believe, limitless. It can really change the dynamic of a game. Put yourself right back in it. But so far, I, I believe the ball play has just been... I, I'm gonna say it right now it's superior coming out from red team bed bath and Beyonce obviously have a, uh, a Mission when it comes to this ball. They have clear defined priorities when they do pick it up oh, This would We're be huge if he just stays alive. He's doing just that <laughs> Gets behind one hits him I would have liked to see him try getting further away But able to find two make that three and just a single hand stops the nest uh, or top slayer of last game, Sylvanic, looking for players over in this tower, a three-man push, and he gets behind all of them, an early triple, triple kill is in order! Sylvanic, you are a monster! Absolutely, if I'm Game of Thrones, right, I'm gonna be focusing on this outside control, try to make it you across the map, make sure you find these players as spread out as possible, look for your slays, and then once you get those slays, make your opportunity attacks through those pit and the opposite base, when, and anytime you get the opportunity for a trip cap, you push it as hard as you can. But Turtles, that's one start that you really don't like to see if you're Game of Thrones. Turtles is able just to go in, grab that invis, and get right on out. Uh, fortunately enough for Game of Thrones, they were able to get the overshield. So we'll see if Crewman is able to make an impact with that overshield. But Turtles right now just trying his best to stay alive. And I like that from him. He disengages from the pit. He knows that he doesn't really have to worry about getting it at the moment. Find the easy kill get the green gun and make a play with said green gun absolutely beautiful job by turtles you don't have to freak out about the hills especially in the early game this is going to be a war of kills make sure you get your numbers and then abuse said numbers and turtles is playing masterfully right now as he finds a double kill in the top mid part of the map and is hunting out crewman with the teammate this could be dangerous for game of thrones gonna go up all up from here <laughs> switch fives just giving the Given the uh, reverse ninja, I suppose you can call it. Neptune wanted it all and flies off the edge because of it. It's going to be up to Sushi. He's going to be the one player that can stop it. Finds the sniper. Finds oh. the rocket player. But the flag is still out. He needs to find these kills. Crewman, I believe, is the only player really in position to stop the flag carrier. He will do just that. The flag is all the way to the other side. But two sniper rifles in hands of Bed Bath & Beyonce. It's going to take perfect Halo to stop this flag from going in right now. Oh my god, a oh, team so shot in the back! Assassination. Oh my god! So close. He had the assassination, and but his teammate lit him up in the back. It was a team shot. Oh, 